Good morning, Ellie. How are you? Hi, Dr. Carson. I'm okay. Much less stress out to talk to you this time. So you can just dot, jot that down. I see your humor armor is still very much intact and holding strong. It's dry clean only, so I have to take advantage of it while I can. So this is just a check-in. Um, want to see how you're doing as you approach the 30-day mark of having the band and, and how you're feeling about things. Um, I'm feeling really good. I know you're YouTubing and stuff now, so do you want to take that again? <laughs> now who's the one with humor armor? Ellie. How do you know something's bothering me? I'd say that it was a decade of higher education or medical practice, maybe hard work, but if I'm being honest, it's, it's just a superpower. <laughs> Are all doctors in this study witty assholes? Oh God, Andrea would be beaming if she heard you call her witty. Have you met Dr. Farrow? He's possibly the worst of us. Ellie, uh, I need you to at least admit that there's something going on. There is something going on. You mentioned in our last session that you really like intervention. Yeah. And that whole show is about admitting that you have a problem and accepting the help that you need. Yeah, but like, I'm not addicted to crack cocaine. And I'm very happy about that. But you might be addicted to a different self-destructive behavior. I live on the edge. Ellie. Fine. Okay. Most of the time I feel great. And um, I feel like I'm making a lot of progress. I've made new friends. Um, and there's a boy who, who might like me. And I'm not as terrified to go clothes shopping as I used to be. So don't write that down. I see you. It sounds like the mission to find yourself is going well. I guess. I mean, again, most of the time I feel great. And some of the time? Some of the time I feel like I'm doing something wrong, especially when the world seems to be telling me I am. That's good. Uh, can you expand on that? Yeah. Um, okay, so like, when you make videos on the internet, people think, well, they think a lot of things of you. They think they like created you. They think they owe, or like you owe them some type of like explanation for your life and like an insight to like everything. They think, they just think they have the authority to your life and to say anything they want about your life, which is just, which is just really dumb. But like, I didn't start YouTube or TikTok or anything like that for those reasons. I just did it because I wanted to make funny videos and like, I don't know, I thought it would be entertaining and helpful for people. And people are being mean instead. Does that feel overwhelming at times? Well, that's the thing. Like, it, it's par for the course, like the, the mean comments, like the you're fat and you're ugly. That's not overwhelming. Like, the stuff that bugs me is people saying I'm a mean person for wanting to change my body. That's what hurts. It started online and now I'm seeing it in real life. What do you mean? Well, like people are mad at me and saying I'm a bad person for getting this surgery because I'm sending a bad message to people that, you know, you're only pretty if you're skinny. Well, what do you think? I mean, do you think women are only pretty if they're skinny? No, of course not. I think everyone is beautiful in their own way, you know, and I have my own views of like what's pretty and what's ugly because that's how subjectivity works. But like, I didn't say anything about other women. You know, my videos are only about me, not anyone else. And people are like, you're so brave for putting yourself on the internet. Like, why? Because I'm fat? Like, I'm an easy target. Like, thanks, guys. <laughs> I don't know. And then, you know, I want to change myself, and I want to I lose weight, and I want to better myself. And then they get mad. And then everyone's got something to say. So, like, what is it? 
it's either I'm fat and brave and, you know, then I hate myself and I think I'm gross or I lose weight, change, better myself. And then I'm a toxic person, you know? And like, if anyone was given the chance to change, you know, any one of us, I think we would all say yes, but like, God forbid, you know, I say it. And like, of course, because it has something to do with my weight, everyone's got like their two cents they want to throw in there. And like, for people that I love and trust to be judging me and saying that I'm a shitty person for wanting to not feel gross anymore. Yeah, that's really hurtful and frustrating. Okay, but why is it frustrating? Because they're mean. <laughs> Can I add another reason to that? Hit me. I think you're very hard on yourself. And when people call you names and are mean to you as a direct result of your weight, you can justify that. Because no one hates you more than you hate yourself. A direct quote. Wow, you really do write down everything. It's another superpower. But the thing that I'm getting at here is that you're not justifying these comments. You know you're not doing anything wrong in this case because your self-confidence is building. You're letting your passion push against the self-doubt. I didn't think about it like that. It's just something to ruminate on, Ellie. But the people you love and trust who are saying these things, you have control over how you respond to that. You know better than anyone if a situation needs to change. So change it. Be honest with these people. Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Carson. Of course. You should be extremely proud of yourself for the strides that you've made so far. We're excited to see you for your appointment in a couple of weeks. I mean, you have to give yourself some credit. Celebrate the little victories here. Easier said than done. It's something that you're working on. It's something that I'm working on. It's something that everyone is hopefully working on. Ellie, I look forward to officially meeting you on the 30th. Same. Have a good rest of your day. You too.